My name is Terry, and I'm here at Eyes Etc. And we are having a rag and bone frame show tonight. And I brought my sales rep and her manager with us. What we're going to talk about a little bit is about rag and bone frame itself, the makeup of that frame, uh, how well it's built, where it came from. Uh, and I'm going to let them talk a little bit about that and uh, get some more information. All right, yeah. take it away, right? Uh, Rag and Bone actually came to Sapelo a couple of years ago. This is Kasha. She's our local representative in Oklahoma. Um, so she's the one coming and actually premiering the product for his patients tonight so they can see the full arsenal of product. But the brand itself is one of these unique urban, kind of like a cross between the British um, military with the daggers and the designs and also a New York vibe to it. So Marcus Wainwright and his partner actually started in crimes back in college is where they met and he started really just trying to find a good pair of jeans that fit and he's all about structure all about creativity but he really couldn't find it and so he he literally searched all over trying on different pairs of jeans from everywhere and that was his first focus was i'm going to make the best constructed jeans i can find and he actually did it in a, in a manufacturing company in kentucky of all places so right now marcus rainwright and rag and bone have gone over the last, what, 15 years, just become a really mainstream, unique brand, again, with that urban vibe. There's a couple of things that are really fantastic about the brand itself, too. The Daggers, Mitch, um, has a little bit of that military vibe again, is just a small placement in different frames. It might just be the end tips, it might be the front, it might be the cross. Um, he doesn't do a lot of logo work which a lot of people, women especially, love that. They don't like to see a lot of logo work. The small, small emblem at the bottom, you can barely tell is the mm -hmm. RB. Mm -hmm. So again, the construction of it is amazing. The only optical frame company out there, Safalo, he chose to partner with us, that uses a Torx screw. So this is the only, it's usually in the automotive industry, and this is the only frame line out there that has Torx screws. Do you remember where Torx screw is? I do. <laughs> <laughs> what are the benefits behind that? Structure. It really is truly an ingenious idea because it doesn't back out. It keeps its form and function a lot tighter. It's easier to adjust. Patients love it. So you can, all, you can already tell right off the bat, blush tones. It's a female and a male. There's a lot of unisex styles, um, but the construction's amazing. What is the, what is the plastic and the metal? Is this, what kind of plastic is this? Most of it is Michelli acetate. Okay. Because you realize with its chunkiness, if you want to call it that, you don't want the weight. So there's a lot of handmade acetates that you can use, but sometimes you do get that weight. Um, so when they use Michelli acetate, you, you don't have that. Now when you combine the metal, sometimes you'll get a little bit more weight because you're combining acetate and metal. Um, but we really use some of the best products possible. There are some titanium versions, um, even for some people that have a high acidity content in their skin and they need something really lightweight. Um, but the brand itself, you can flash later and see all the colors. And it's a fantastic brand. And we're next door to Gordon Stewart, who also um, launches the products. So their uh, clothing line. So you've got both worlds right here. <laughs> and in fact, here in Oklahoma, Gordon Stewart might be the only, one of the only ones um, the closest rag and bone stores in Dallas. Dallas, that's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. So the metal in this mm -hmm. is not titanium, is that correct? This particular piece is probably stainless. Okay. There's stainless. titanium, right. yeah, stainless steel. Okay, good. There is a titanium version, it's beautiful. And for those guys out there that love the aviator fit, but don't want to look like Tom Cruise from, you know, 1970s, this is a little bit more of a fresh vibe of it. You can also see the daggers. Again, you can't tell, it's just a small touch of it, but that's their DNA and that's their story. And even inside, sometimes you'll even see it in the actual temple piece itself. So it's just an amazing brand. So the, uh, that's the first I ever heard that it was a military offshoot, mm -hmm. and you're talking about from the hinge. Right. Right? Yeah. Can you can see it on the inside even? Huh? It's just the tip. So it's not necessarily, in the jeans, in the rag and bone jeans, you'll usually see all five daggers, and it's the button. Oh. So they're just using little bits and pieces of their DNA mm -hmm. without being some loud um, logo. Perfect. Yeah. Amazing product. It is. <laughs> well, I'm glad they came tonight and gave us a, a real good rundown on the, on the frame itself. This is what helps us, helps me tell uh, my customers about the product, how it's to be worn, 
and, and so forth. So thank you guys for coming. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Absolutely. Happy holidays. Thank you.